All right, we've got Jackson Murphy, our favorite movie reviewer, here with us uh, on our Zoom call. And uh, we got some new movies to talk about this week. Uh, a, a true crime drama. Yes, we've got a lot going on. Hi, Randy. Yeah, let's start with the true crime drama, which is City of Lies. This is the Johnny Depp, Forrest Whitaker movie playing at the Bowtie Cinemas in Schenectady exclusively. Johnny Depp's uh, character based on a real guy, LAPD detective, trying to figure out the murders of uh, Tupac Shakur and the notorious B.I.G. This movie's been in the can for a couple of years and it's finally being released. And I like the performances in this. The story is easy enough to follow. The vision is there from the director and the, and the entire team. City of Lies. Check this out. Bowtie Schenectady, a story you can uh, easily sink into. That is a great theater, too, to see a movie in. It's just right. so easy to get to. You can park right there. Um, <laughs> now you also got one that's uh, an Oscar-nominated movie. Yes, The Father, up for six nominations, including Best Picture of the Year. The Oscar nominations came out on Monday. This is a tough movie, though, Randy. This is at the uh, Bowtie Saratoga. Anthony Hopkins plays a, a father with dementia, and Olivia Coleman plays his daughter. And uh, this is a tough film to get through. I personally don't love the movie. It's a little showy. It's a little uh, over the top in the vision and the execution of it, and not that compelling and not that new. But if you want to see all the Oscar movies before Oscar Sunday, Day, which is only about five weeks away, then you're going to want to see The Father because it got a bunch of nominations, including Best Picture, which was a surprise. I did not expect it to get into that category, but here it is. All right. And what else we got going on this weekend? The Courier. This is a very good film. This is playing at the Bowtie Saratoga, as well as the Beacon Cinemas in Pittsfield, Mass. This stars Benedict Cumberbatch, Jesse Buckley, Rachel Brosnahan. It's a very good cast. They all give great performances. And this is about a, a guy, a salesman in the 60s, true story, who was recruited by CIA and the MI6 to retrieve and send information regarding the Cuban Missile Crisis. And you may think, how can this be exciting and how can this be compelling? But the way it's done, it really is. It's slick without being showy, uh, top-notch acting from the entire ensemble. And another story that you can find engaging and relatable when it comes to the emotions and how this ordinary guy would be put into these extraordinary circumstances. Check out The Courier in theaters. Highly recommend it. Oh, uh, that sounds pretty wild. Now, there's a couple of miniseries that are available now, too, right? Yeah, I've had the chance to check out episodes from two big miniseries. The first is Genius Aretha, which starts this Sunday at 9 o'clock on the National Geographic Channel. I really like the uh, Genius Einstein season with uh, Jeffrey Rush as Albert Einstein a few years ago, and then the Picasso season with Antonio Banderas as well. They were excellent. A little disappointed by this genius Aretha season with Cynthia Revo as Aretha Franklin. She's good. And, and when she belts out the songs, it's very nice. But the story is a very familiar one. And the acting from her and Courtney B. Vance is not top notch. And the way it goes feels like uh, I already know what's going to happen. I've seen the first three episodes. It's a four night event. And then I've also watched the first episode of the new miniseries, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier on Disney Plus, the latest in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it is great. It, Randy, it starts off with this aerial chase sequence involving Anthony Mackie's character and some bad guys that's even better than some of the chase sequences in some of the Marvel movies we've seen over the years. It is so good. And then we get into the stories. You've got Sebastian Stan as Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes, um, going through life uh, post Avengers movies and what's been happening and then some things that are going to have to happen. Are they going to team up? The first episode is terrific and it will be a, a new obsession absolutely for Marvel fans on Disney+. Plus. Sounds good. Got some uh, good things to watch this weekend. Yes, spring has sprung and we got some uh, great movies and a uh, terrific Marvel miniseries that people are going to be addicted to over the next six weeks for sure. And you can get my reviews at lights-camera-jackson.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at LCJ Reviews and Instagram at LightsCam Jackson. Jackson, as always, thank you for your uh, insight and we will talk to you next week. Appreciate it. Thank you.